G'day and welcome back to Stitch Up and a brand new series in a game that we've been wanting to play for a very, very long time. This is Planet Zoo. We're going to be playing through the, uh, <clears throat> I believe, playing through the career mode. Yes, I was going to say franchise, but no, we'll get to franchise in just a little bit. I guess uh, career mode is, is where we'll start off. First steps, we're going to learn all about Planet Zoo and the mechanics of uh, how this difference differs from Planet Coaster um, and hopefully get up and running. So why don't you enjoy the Stitch Up intro and I'll see you uh, in just a moment. Okay, we are back. Here we go. We're going to go into career mode. Hopefully the sound settings are all pretty good. If you think I've got the music too loud uh, or um, uh, my volume of the microphone needs to be louder, uh, anything uh, about how you think I can fine tune, please leave the comments down below. I will read them and take on feedback. I appreciate that. Um, but let's just check these settings here. We have uh, audio. Uh, I mean, the music's brilliant. The soundtrack volume. I mean, the soundtrack is brilliant, by the way. I mean, it was good for Planet Coaster. It's just taken it up a notch. All sorts of Lion King stuff. Brilliant. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So let's jump in. The stately homeschooling Goodwin House. What if it's pronounced Godwin House? Let's see. Okay, um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and, and read this one out. So, renovated and renamed after its purchase by Bernard Goodwin in the 80s. Goodwin House has since become one of the most respected zoos in the country. More recently, has undergone a further renovation to update many of the habitats and facilities. But due to well, various issues, the work hasn't quite been completed, which is where you come in. Now, it's difficulty medium. Uh, I'm tempted to change it to easy. I think I'll change it to easy while we learn and maybe I can turn it up for the next one if that's a thing let's find out it does say that we've got here uh, zero stars out of the this level and on Goodwin House we could get three so I guess for all of these we could get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve times three is thirty six stars and it looks like you can get bronze silver and gold Okay, let's get into Easy Settings Goodwin House and uh, get right into it. <coughs> okay, so we're going into the loading screen. Got that lovely new computer. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, we're playing. Uh, obviously, we've upgraded our GPU to a um, RDX 2060 NVIDIA 2060, um, and um, it's got. I've got my AMD Ryzen 3700X with the eight. Uh, eight physical cores. Um, so between those two, I'm hoping everything's going to be nice in Planet Zoo. In fact, I'm not hoping. I'm sure it is. This is lovely. Ah, hey yo, at Hematu. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 sorry about that. I, I, I have a habit of slipping back into the Planko language. <laughs> lovely. It's good to finally meet you in person. I'm Bernard. Although I insist, you call me Bernie. The only person who calls me Bernard is my wife. <laughs> and even then, only when I've tracked elephant tongue oh, into the carpet. <laughs> that looks great. As you know, I own several zoos, but I always like to show people the ropes here at my home. This is the first zoo I ever opened, and a source of great pride for me. Oh, nice. And pride. Lots of branding a there. program we ran in the 80s. African themes. <laughs> but we're in the middle of a big Ooh, renovation, these. and that's where you come in. Sadly, our old contractor had to retire after developing a fur allergy. Oh, I like that, too. Poor devil kept sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. So, it's up to you to finish everything off. African elephants. Don't worry, though. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. My head keeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending a helping hand. Oh, she's a hard worker. And she'll expect you to be too. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house it's on a nice, fire. Even better, <laughs> one that isn't on fire. Less nice small like zoo, <laughs> this one. Nice simple zoo. Hello there. From Hello. That rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. 
Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma because we're about to get really hands-on. Is she Welsh? But Is before that... we begin the real work, how about we familiarise oh, you with yeah, the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting some of our beautiful animals? We'll start by popping over and having a look-see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. Right. Did you know that grizzly bears, also known as Ursus arctos horribilis, can hibernate for up to seven months a year? <laughs> oh, but then again, given the chance, I think a lot of people would do that too. <laughs> Enter the grizzly bear animal Select camera. the bears and you'll bring up its information panel. See now, this is a fantastic way to get a close look at your animals. You can also get this view of an animal by simply double clicking on it. Okay, so if we jump out okay, of that. When you're ready, let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked uh -huh. their location for you to find. Okay, give me a sec, Nancy. I'm going to get off that animal. I'm going to go into. Is there another bear? Yep. Click on him and double click, and you get straight into the camera. Okay, cool. That's nice. This is a nice habitat, too. I like this. Um, yeah, this is good. All right, we will get into a lot. So let's see our next thing. Is this where our objectives are? Player alerts? Nope, they are different things. So the next thing Nancy wanted us to do was get over here and have a look at the lions, I believe. So this is over this side of the zoo. Panthera Leo Leo. All the West African lion to you and me. Yeah. Lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride, although prides of that size are pretty rare. As Bernie would say, those lions are awesome, which is precisely why I handle the training instead these days. Anyway, how about we get started on those objectives? Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what needs doing there. Right, these lines are lovely. Okay, you go through the glass. See that? That's the glass, the viewing glass. You can tint that as well. Uh, oh, he's lovely. Look at him. I'm going to do the double click again. <laughs> he's a bit Cecil, actually, with his hair like that. He's a bit Cecil. What if we get the uh, black variations with the skin color variants that's coming out very shortly? Okay, we are now going to do... What did she say? I wasn't listening. I was, I was concentrating on everything else except for what Nancy wanted us to do. No, we're in the camp. We are in the Panthera Leo Leo camera. Okay, uh, she said hop over to a blank uh, habitat. This is one that's obviously been used prior for some As other you animal. Can see, it's a lovely space for animals, but it's missing a certain something. Okay. Well, two somethings. Warthogs. Oh, brilliant. So I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. To adopt right. animals, we need to open the animal market, which animal is in the animal market. trading section. Okay, down here. So we click. There we are, a pair of perfectly splendid warthogs for our zoo. Just click on them and select Adopt from the side menu. Okay. Normally the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how it works. The last thing I need is you accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. So we get one male, one female. One is 4.9, the, the, the fella. And the lady, um, the woman uh, warthog, as Carl would say, um, the woman warthog is... Five year old, which I believe might be quite old for a warthog. I have a feeling these guys don't live very long. Hmm, wonderful, find out. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to dot both uh, this one and uh, waiting in the trade center, and then the lady one. 216. An animal, it's automatically placed in the trade center mm -hmm. where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat. Right. Which, as it happens, you are. Trade so, history. how about you so move them into the... their new home? Okay. So, that's over here. We click on this one, and there's our two animals, and we want to move them in. So, I go here and I say send a zoo, and I'll put El Warthogius. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, let's put him just there. Does that mean he's going to go there? Relocating to common warthog, and this one. So it when must. You ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat. Mm -hmm. Your caretakers will go to the trade center, collect your animal, and yeah. deliver them to your selected habitat. Okay, where's the I've trade center? I marked the trade center's location. Ooh. So let's go and watch the caretakers in action. Right. I promise. I'm not. I'm not sort of. I, I've never seen this. I've not even watched other people's playthroughs of these um, of the career mode. Uh, so uh, I'm not trying to jump ahead. Now, she said she's marked down the trade center. I suspect this would be back of house. So I would think it would be very much... There's the front of the zoo, the stately home, which I love. 
Um, and then the trade center. Ah, there, right at the back. Okay, so it's behind the warthog. So she's going to run across here to there. Oh, they've done it. Okay, they've done one. They've done both warthogs. So the trade center was here. And if I had found it quicker, well, we would have seen him run can out. See, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to mm -hmm. their destination as fast as possible. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But I am assured by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. Right. Right. Let's get the warthogs' habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. Yeah. Each animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic, basically how happy they are. And that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different areas. Nutrition, social health, habitat, and enrichment. Mm -hmm. Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up their animal welfare information panel, which we saw earlier, where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Don't worry if that's a lot to remember. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. So we click on Warthog. Let's start by making sure we're taking care of the Warthog's nutrition welfare. To do this, we'll need to place a food station and a drinking station. Right. Now, each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And mm -hmm. for the warthogs, it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. Okay, so click on Habitat. Um, and we want a small food trough. Now, I believe because I've got the warthog selected, it tells me what I, what I need. Uh, maybe. Let's see. I think that's the case. All right. So we want a, a food trough small. And, oop, there we go. Hang on. Where do we want to put this? Because we want this. I think we want it in front of the people. So we want it to, f to eat right there where it can be watched. So let's do it there. And we want to water one right next to that. Can we? No, nope, not right next to it. Okay. Let's put the water one here. Animals also require stimulation to keep them happy. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around oh. in. That yep. bath will count towards their enrichment welfare, specifically their toy enrichment welfare. So nutrition was at 52. I'm hoping nutrition goes up once these tackers start eating. Let's see. I don't know which one we're on. We might be on Yaya. Or what's this one called? Nabisi. Yeah, nutrition was 52 for Yaya. It's now gone up. Oh, they, they sound brilliant. This is 57, 52, 54. Okay, cool. Um, well, that was on 54 a minute ago. Right. Um, let's see. What was she on about next? Add toy to enrichment. Okay, cool. So we go to habitat. And now I want a toy for the enrichment. Add a mud bath. Enrichment item. A mud bath. Okay, this one's a large one. So we'll stick a mud bath in. Now, where am I going to put the mud bath? I think I should tuck the mud bath in kind of like this. But I think I can use my Z key just to put it a little bit off center there. Oh, nice work. There we go. You've got a knack for this, I see. Mm -hmm. Now, our contractor had to leave in a hurry. So this place is in a feral it's... state. Unfinished thingamajigs and what's it's all over a... the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is, is the level? ostrich habitat. It's over near the hippos. Okay. Oh, we're really racing around, aren't we? So they got mud bath now. Enrichment's gone at 50% for yeah, yeah. So that's good. Okay, so warthogs are under control. We are now going to locate the highlighted area. This will be an ostrich. Um, funny, uh, I saw warthogs and ostriches and West African lions yesterday at ZSL Whipsnade uh, in the outskirts of London. Um, let me see. Let's check if my frame oh, rates are going nicely. Before we actually start building our so. ostrich habitat, right. let's pause the game. Just click the pause button in the bottom right corner. Alright. Ah, that's more like it. A quick break. That's Sometimes good. it's a good idea to pause the game whilst you're doing something which requires your concentration because yeah. it'll stop the zoo spinning out of control while you're looking the other way. Let's keep the game paused while we get this ostrich habitat built. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I like that, yeah. Job number one here is to add I'll... a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Right. Every habitat needs a habitat gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? Mm -hmm. Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. 
Right, so Habitat Gate hooked up to the pass. This is uh, the path. So this is under barriers, and it's, well, everything's just selected, isn't it? We've got barriers, we've got gates, but it wants the gate. Uh, now we've got that. Um, now it is a either on its own with a bit of wall, um, but I think it wants us to put it here. If I put it there, it won't meet the objective. I'm going to put it bang in the middle. I like the idea that it's close to the curve, actually, so let me put it there. That seems acceptable. Right. Let's complete the perimeter barrier so we can mm -hmm. adopt us some ostriches. Right. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. All right. Now I need to do a few things here because this is too long. That's height. What's this? Oh, hang on. Hang on, we don't want it to be so long, do we? This is the height. Okay, we don't want that. So let's let's go. Let's do um let's go like this. So we don't want that. I think we bollocks this. Let me click off that. How can I get off that? Yeah, I just want to get off that. And I want to get off that actually. How do I get out of that? Uh right. Can I go to like this? I have to do this. So I believe I've got a large barrier happening and I need a small barrier now. So this is going to be the... What's this one? Why are you 2.44 meters? Because I've clicked this one here. Okay, let's start it from the other end then. I think we've because we've bollocksed it here. Let's do this. So that is there. Ah, length is down below. Okay, good, good, good. Right, well, I should be able to do... Let's do that one. Uh, let me see about this. I want this to be... I want this to be a lot shorter. So bring him in. And let's do him sort of in a bit at a right angle. Where is he? Yep, and then we'll do a curve barrier. But we want the curve to be a bit longer, please. Try and make this nice. We may run into issues up here with this stupid little barrier that I put in. Uh, we want that to be a lot smaller. Yeah, about there, curved in. And I want him to be there, right? And now I want it to be there. That's obstructed. So if I then go like this, and then I click on this and go delete, yes. Okay, go back to barriers and select my barrier. And I, if I've already got, I know what it is, I can just click off it. And then I can do this part. Good work. Okay. Remember, before you can place animals in any habitat, it has Lovely. to have a full loop of connected barrier. Right. Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. Yeah. At least not without a stepladder. Correct. But seeing as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in. Okay, let's do this stretch here, I think is the nice one. Well, actually, it might be nice to do this. Can we do both of these? Edit barrier. All right, this one and this one. No, hang on. This one and can I select two? Holding down shift. No, it just wants one for this. Okay, let's do. Let's do this long one here then. That one, and swap him out for glass. There we go. Adding in more windows gives guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path yeah. they're walking on, because it makes them happy, and because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. Yep. The last thing we need to do is to add a donation box. Ooh. You see, when guests enjoy the view of an animal, they'll make a donation. Just make sure you put them in easy-to-reach places, like near a viewing point. Now you got some... Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. I didn't know that. I did not know that at all. Uh, you... Do I want... Where's my spinning? I want to spin these. Surely I can spin this. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, it seems to snap do that it, it wants to snap the spinning of it so i'll put it in here now before we adopt our ostriches you should click the play button after all if the game's paused then so are our caretakers which will make it a bit tricky for them to deliver the ostriches eh right we've unpaused by the way as well as pausing the game you can speed the game up by clicking mm -hmm. on the fast forward button it'll run everything at two times and five times faster 
It can be useful, especially if you're waiting for money to accumulate or for animals to be delivered to your habitat. Good Personally, point. I use it when I'm waiting for a brew to finish. All right, you've finished the habitat. So it's <laughs> high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Let's get four of them in here. Right, animal trading. Uh, we'll go into adoptions and we are obviously selected the species here and they want four and there is four. I'm going to hit refresh list. No, it obviously wants us to get these four. So we have, uh, this guy's a silver one. Oh, the second one here. Now he's an 11 year old. Okay, let's start with the first one. We have a, fi a male who is nearly 16 years old. Um, I wonder if the point nine is months. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder about that. I don't think so. Because um, you'll have 0.11. No, nah, that wouldn't work. Okay, we adopt him, the male, and then the female. So we've got a gold standard. She's um, 11.6 11, 11 years. Her What is this? Points? These are the points markers. She's gold, uh, 1246. Okay, so let's get her. Uh, and... But they want four, so let's get them in. I do like the idea of having multiple in there, like quite a few. Um, and I think now, did she want us to send them in? I'm just going to send them in then. Yeah, I think I will do that. And I go to storage. So relocating this one and go send a zoo. Goodbye. And send a zoo. You're in. This pops up automatically. That's nice. And send a zoo. Now, let's wait for our keeper to come in. And so they're all going in and we'll start to see these uh, common ostriches. Uh, you'll see them running around at some points. They'll come from there actually. In fact, I see someone running down here. Let's see. Yep, here he comes. He's bringing a common ostrich in. So the White Planet Zoo uh, opens up uh, the animals or delivers the animals. This is nice. Look, this is a lovely little ready for an enclosure here, isn't it? And there's another part one there, but um, yeah, obviously decommissioned. So he'll go into here. There's a donation box there. And just near here, they'll drop them off. So there's one. Let's have a look at these guys. Common Ostrich. Uh, he is, um, well, there's a female. Oh, there's a second one right on top of the other. Oh, they're fast. Great. Uh, let me go down into ostrich cam and have a look. So that's one, two, three. Just got to remember when you're in ostrich cam to jump out of it. What's that? This is like a sprinkler. It's like a little gun sprinkler. There's one, two, three. Here's the fourth one coming in. Where is it? Two, three. I'm sure we got four of these tackers. Do you want to actually? I think I see someone running. No, I don't. Maybe I've got my four. One, two, three. I might just go to here and st in Trade Center. He did not send to zoo correctly. While we to be collected by the caretakers yep. and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Add a suitable feeding station water mm -hmm. station and an appropriate food enrichment item right it's often best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter so guests can get a really good view of the animals mm -hmm. so this is interesting because i don't know how to add the appropriate feeding station so if i click on this animal and then i go to uh, let me see study books social genetics overview Hungry, thirsty. Okay, let me pause the game for a sec. Uh, I want to find out. So, stud book. I thought it was a study book. Social genetics, enrichment, environment. Now, okay, that's that's what plants it wants around it. Uh, if I go. Uh, I wonder if I click on, right, I've clicked on, let me click on ostrich. So we got him open. And then I go into habitat. I don't know if it's doing this because, yeah, I wonder if it then, if it's these ones because I've clicked on it. That's what I don't know. I don't know because if we're in tutorial and it's just teaching me about it, maybe they're the only options that come up. Okay, we want the large food bowl. We'll have to check that out a bit later. Let's put that question on notice. So this is large food bowl. And we do want large uh, water. And is this a water trough? Yeah, a water trough small. Um, 
one's large, one's small. Let's put him here. And I believe with those guys that someone will come and top them up as well. We play and we're waiting. Here's our fourth ostrich, which is nice. And then we're waiting on a feeder to come up. So if I have a look here, add food enrichment. So you got, right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. So we click on the ostrich and we go to habitat and then we go food and water, heaters, shelters, enrichment. And it's a slow feeder and we'll put this one Let's put him there. Okay, we've got ourselves uh, oh, one of the stars. Um, this is a... Somewhere, they can really stretch their legs. Thank you, Bernie. Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Oh, oh heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> Okay, so we, we look like we've got ourselves a West African lion. Did he do his speed camera joke? Every no. time we get an ostrich. So now we've made the ostriches' lives a bit better. Correct. Let's do the same for the keepers, shall we? To make it easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals, so they should be placed near to the habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking um, after the animals. I did not know that. Right, so each each enclosure needs a, um, a keeper's hut, and that's where they make the food or prepare the food for that particular animal. I didn't know that. Okay, good. So let's go to facilities. And we'll go to huts, and we're going to get a... Well, we've got 215,000. Let's get ourselves one of these classics. You'll need to rotate the keeper hut to get it to connect up to the path. Mm -hmm. All right, and it's, of course, it's the path, and then I'll use the gate. Not with this tucked in, though. So let's tuck him in there. Outside of placement area. Well, I wanted it tucked in, but game won't let me. There we go. It really wanted it in that spot. This keeper hut only has space for one keeper, but the larger keeper hut can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Oh, but bear in mind that keeper huts and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings and it can affect their happiness. Uh-huh. Negatively. <laughs> right. In case that wasn't clear. Something that all facilities, shops, and a whole host of other objects need is power. And that obviously includes your newly built keeper hut. So let's place a transformer next to it, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, right. What I'm going to do is put a cut in here because I just want a half an hour episode. Um, we'll do a couple more little little bits. Let's place a transformer down. Um, now, so the reason everything here. has gone blue is because you're using the power heat map. This map allows you to see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. So yep. once you've placed your transformer, you can click in the bottom left to turn the heat map off. Lovely work. Now the keepers can start using the hat to prepare food. Ah, and it thanks a path to as well. it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Right. Let's get on to your next objective then. So these are all tigers. We want to adopt some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked out. It's not too far away. Mm hmm. Okay, we're going to leave Nancy uh, Nancy there because she's driving me mental. Uh, we're going to leave her there and we're going to look at the Bengal Tigers, the Bengalesies, uh, very soon but in the next episode. So a couple of little wrap-ups. So I think she will keep Stum. Pause. The music still plays. Great. Okay, cool. So I've paused the game. She's kept Stum. The, ostr the ostrich is actually spreading his wings a bit which is quite nice there's the second one there i've paused it haven't i yep everyone's paused where's the second and third there they are are they getting at it oh they might be how very interesting 
<laughs> okay, cool. Oh, I like these fences too with the um, the stones inside. There's a name for those, I can't remember. The, it'll probably be the name of the particular uh, enclosure fence. And uh, one thing to notice is they did say that uh, guests don't like to see the facility. So the Keeper Hut, this one is actually um, hidden there. But if you go to facilities and just look under, you know, the standard stuff... Um, you can actually find the keeper huts and it'll be the plain ones, I think, because we're supposed to be looking at the Bengal, Bengal tigers. They're locked at the moment. But they're very plain like this. They don't have the building around it and it's just the actual structure so you can put your own building around. I think what she's saying there is, this is good, this is bad. So you would cover that. So what we'd probably do here is put some bamboo wall around it and I'd probably do an L shape where um, you do a path off here and so um, the... The keeper hut is on one side and the power thing is on the other, but then you have to go down the path in order to get to it. And if you use a particular, this is a standard path, but if I use a staff path, that'll stop people from going down there. But because if I put them at right angles hidden behind something on a leader path, then it means that they also, um, guests won't see that and you won't see that sort of, it's very back of house. So that's one thing I have picked up from watching other people's playthroughs, uh, just general playthroughs. But we're going to leave it here this has been episode one of the career mode of planet zoo um and uh i've been stitch up so don't forget to leave your comments uh down below uh, don't forget to subscribe to stitch up as well um and uh leave your comments hit the like button and i look forward to seeing you in the very next episode of planet zoo cheers